Welcome back guys, James here, and here we are again, on a new series, The Dream Machine. Okay, so, this is The Dream Machine on the on the PC, but not on the mobile. So that's a different game, it's a different game, as you can already tell. And also, plus, I want to apologize, I haven't uploaded anything, I was working on a fan animation of a, of a YouTuber named Nico B. I'm really sorry guys, I haven't done anything besides the last video I did with the, with the fan game. So, I wanted to try something new for once. Because the games that I played is that what is, is what people already know already. So I want to try something new, even to you guys. So, here it is, the Dream Machine. This is actually a really old game in Steam. Believe it or not, this is actually really old as in... This game was, was released on 2013 with only 4 chapters. And I got this game with my friend, which... Finally, the game has already been completed by now. I wanted to say that this is actually a really interesting game because a lot of people said that the art style for this game, which is clay and cardboard, it's actually really fascinating. I heard a lot of people said it's terrifying as well. I mean, it's terrifying at the same time, it's beautiful. I, w I want to be on that really interest that really captures my attention because. I played this game before, back when I was a kid, in somewhere at my first year of high school. And at that, that time, I was playing the demo version of it. Which is, first of all, the demo is very, very disappointing and it's very short. Because there's nothing much to it, because it's very, it ended very shortly, like, for a single segment. And that's it, I completely forgotten about this game. And... From what I can tell, if that demo is really short, that means the game is short. But I really want to see more of it because this is a type of puzzle game that I really like, alongside with, with another puzzle game, Paradigm. And from what I heard, this game is actually very long. I was surprised because the demo I played is very short, so I it's very short than I expected to be. So I'm really curious what this game has to offer. And also plus if if also, plus I want to apologize in advance that if my if my comment I want to apologize in advance if my commentary is a bit different and my avatar is a bit wobbly, it's because I'm it's I'm still trying to do a different style here. So I didn't even so I'm going to try something new, something that fits my play style the most because most of the time I I can't even even myself can't understand what I'm saying when I play these games. I have to take it slowly. I have to take it slowly at the same time and have to do the game right. I'm really sorry guys if I'm talking a bit slower, but I'll try my best to make it more clear to make it clearer. Here we go again. I'm, 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 I'm jittering again. So here it is, the dream machine. Okay, let's just get started already. As you can see there's already six chapters already, but from what I remember before it was only until chapter four, that's what I've heard of it. So, let's just hit chapter 1. We are like the dreamer. We are like the spider, who weave our life and then move along in it. We are like the dreamer, who dreams and then lives in a dream. The Dream Machine. I really like the, the game soundtrack as well. It's so eerie at the same time. What you call It's so eerie at the same time. It's fascinating. There it is. This is what. This is the demo I played. So I already know the, the solution for this puzzle already. I can probably use it for feelings. I'm really sorry if I'm gonna skip through this dialogue. I've been re replayed this a lot of times already. Shovel there, the last one's gonna shovel. Okay. I know how to play this game already as well, so it's not really new to me. Okay. Get up there, do the fire, I need a fish as well, for my member, get a fishing rod. So basic. <laughs> I'm really glad that uh, I'm really glad, really glad I remember this game because it's the game I completely forgot all because of this section alone. It's really short, trust me. When I say it's short, this is all you can get. 
Well, I think it's from a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Okay, there it is. Then kill it. Also, what I like here is that the game has logic in it. For a game, that, for a game that's about dreams, it has simple logic. For example, um, if I want to kill the fish, of course I have to use the shovel. If it's it's a bit simple, but I heard that the game can be a, a bit critical in the later parts. At least from what I heard. That seems to kill the fish. Okay. There's nothing much I can go here. I think that's all. Why am I supposed to be on the alarm clock? So it's done yet. There we go. We should stay straight. Okay. It tastes great, but what's this? There's a piece of paper in the belly of the fish. Oh, oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, it shows me where it's out of Okay, despite what it looks, this is the perspective of it. This is the, these are the trees, this must be the rocks. So, in short, this is where the, the treasure is. I'm guessing this is where the clock now? Yep. Look at it, look at the animation though. Tap the alarm clock on this one. Oh, that, that soundtrack. Oh, it felt so good. Oh, wait, wait. Give me, give me a sec here. <laughs> Apologies on that. Um, It seems face rig, it's opened up the interface again. Really sorry about that. It keeps on popping up. Uh, really sorry about that. Really sorry, really sorry. Really, really sorry. Okay. Okay, this is where, this is where the game actually ends. Once I enter that door, this is where it actually ends. That's how short it is. I didn't even talk to anyone and only I only investigate only investigate this room. There's nothing here really interests me at all. I mean besides the boxes here. These boxes are all we managed to move here last night. The rest of them, along with the furniture, should arrive later today. It says baby clothes on the label. Oh, we're gonna have a baby? Window. The view is such a nicer than our old apartment. I, I miss being close to nature though. Damn it, damn. This must belong to the previous inhabitants. It doesn't work. It seems there's nothing much I can do here. It's almost snowy. My kids must be really tired after all that lugging. Ventilation. It's an old ventilation grate. That, that painting seems a lot like my dream. Must have fallen asleep looking at it. It has, it has a kind of tactic charm that Alicia usually hates. I haven't met Alicia yet. I don't even know what it, what she looks like. Well, we haven't installed the light feature yet. We haven't installed the light. Oh, oh dear. Uh, we haven't installed the lighting fixtures yet. Okay, no lights. I'm guessing the other things as well. Oh, a guitar. Got a guitar. My old axe. A reminder of my dream to become a stage musician. Once we're settled in, I try to get back to music career brewing again. I have also heard that this game has a couple of bugs on its own. From what I can from, I can, from what I can hear from my friend. So let's just hope we can encounter one of those. Okay, examine the box. Okay. Oh. Oh you look at that. Oh you look at that. Look at There's the species there's species here. Oh, you don't see that every day. From a puzzle game. Put a telephone. Okay. Dummy telephone. It's our old phone. Can I use it on you? I talk to myself enough as it is. Okay, I just head to the kitchen. Ah, oh, there she is. Empty pots here again. Oh. Okay, then. Okay, Lee Shambiol. Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, I can see why you guys tell me this is terrifying. Oh, you look at your eyes. I mean, compared to Victor, oh god. Compared to Victor, I mean, come on, Victor's bearable. Oh dear, this kind of creeps me out. Oh, you're awake. I thought I surprised you with breakfast in bed. 
Here, let me help you with that. Oh, I have choices now. No need, it's almost done. Will you set the table for us in the meantime? Uh, the shipping has arrived yet, honey. It doesn't have to be a table. Any square flat will do for now. Like a box. Just come an empty box or something. Of course, darling. I don't want to be rude. Thanks, honey. I don't want to be rude. It's not that kind of thing. What's in here? Is this the bathroom? I mean, look at I, I mean, look at this. I, I can handle this one, but I'm not really sure for Alicia though. Although this one's a bit terrifying a bit, especially how close up this is. I really like the style here. Did you hear? Pick up baby oil. How they need that? As I'm in skin lotion, it's a lotion skin lotion. It's expensive, but she's worse by it. Okay. Shampoo, nurturing blend of Echinacea and Sage. Or Sagi. This preferred brand of the Nev household. Hmm. I should probably start using this stuff more often. Okay, can I turn on the shower? I love to get out of this clothes, but there'll be plenty of time for that later. Anything from the toilet. There's always has to be a second on the toilet. There's always has to be. I can flush the toilet. Lift the lid. No, 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 no. Close the lid. Sorry. Close the lid. Anything in the fridge? And nothing. We'll have to do a market run later today. Yeah. An empty fridge is a depressing sight. Indeed. Close the fridge. The hallway. Anything for here? It's her favorite coat. She wore it on our first date. Okay, this box seems different. Oh, there it is. Oh, examine telephone outlet. Is that outlet for the telephone? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ah, oh, okay. Peter, get out. Okay. There you go. And there's nothing here. Okay, we don't have the numbers. Nothing for the boxes. Make sure the lighting doesn't even do anything. The plants. Some wilted plants probably left there by the previous tenant. Well, that's kind of rude. Well, that's kind of rude. Why will you leave wilted plants to the next neighbor? Seriously, though, don't, don't don't you even dare do that. What those my kind of bugs are here? Pick up crumpled paper. Okay, it seems to be the remains of a letter. Somebody, somebody tried to destroy it, but the fire didn't consume it entirely. If I unfold it carefully, I might be able to read it. That should do it. What? What does it say? Ah, it's one of those. I better be careful when I rotate the pieces. They look very delicate. What happens if I don't? Okay, this one seems to be. Oh dear. Oh, this will be difficult. Okay, look right there. Travis. Start with the edge and you can easily to ah come on. Okay, there we go. To home it to home it Make concern? Yeah, make concern, okay. Okay. Is this is the end of the message, I think. What's it? Yeah. Right there. Right there. There. There we go. And finally, voila. There. Wait, is this upside down? This is a one weird message. Okay. Let me see. To whom it may concern, I'm hiding it in the hope that thing on it. I'm. What? I'm. I'm not paranoid. Look under the floor bed. Below the light switch in the bedroom, it will set what I and see what I meant. Whatever that thing is, it's not mine, and I'm not. I'm not staying around. I'm not staying, and and to what it does. Perhaps you will find able to find out. Travis, the previous tenant. Oh, under the floor, bed, huh? 
we just point here. In the floor bed. Here? The voice near to the floor. I can get I can't get up with my bare hands. Okay, let's just maybe on. Let's see if this will work. This will only make it open it harder. Well, I should try. Do you know anything about it? Have you found something to put your breakfast on? Yep. What do you think of this note first? Oh, let me see. I think it might be a hoax. It sounds too good to be true otherwise. Like something you read in a crime novel. It probably left us a present under the floorboard and wanted to drive us up a bit before we found it. Doesn't the fact that somebody tried to story the note like some credit? I mean, true, true. It means that someone tries to destroy it or something hiding among it. Nah, he probably did that himself to make it seem more mysterious. Why would he need to do that for the first time, for the first place? He seems to have made sure we can read the important parts at least. Either way, I think we should check what's under the floorboards in the bedroom. You do that, honey. Okay. Have you found something to put on the breakfast on? Yep. It's all set, ready for breakfast. As a matter of fact, we can eat a fancy dinner instead once the furniture, furniture arrives. Just sit down and bring us the breakfast. Okay. I'll need something there to get out, get out of for now. That's all I need to do now. Isn't this magical? The first breakfast in our in our new apartment. I don't think this place is ever deep, nah. Uh, uh, I can use some kind of settings. If I knew what box they were in, I'd go get them. But how was it? How was it there? Your first night in our new home. Did you sleep well? Like a baby slept with my clothes on. So I turned around a bit, I feel for the rest of now. I dreamt a lot, so I can't have been sleeping all that day. Uh, here it is what? Oh, what are you doing? I dreamt alone on a small island. What did you do? I found a note in the fish, yeah, that's more direct. Oh wow, what did it say? So it was a treasure map. How exciting! Did you find the treasure? I was just about to, but then the alarm clock went off and sound must have been fused with my dream. That's when I woke up. It's strange how the mind incorporates real things in dreams like that. I read that it does that in order for us to get our precious rest no, ma precious rest, no matter what. It only wakes up if it thinks you're in danger. It's comforting to know that, that my mind is looking out for, for, for me even when I'm sleeping. But what do you think it means? What what means? Your dreams, Jimmy. Uh, dreaming about the desert island? I guess I need more solitude. I think it means I was looking at the, looking at the painting above the, the bed as I fall asleep, that's all. I don't know, what do you think it means? You want my peace in... You want my peace in... I'm really sorry that I can't swear a lot. Just yeah, I'm that kind of guy who never swears. Okay. You want my piece in bullcrap answer or do you want to know what I really think? If they're a piece in answer, if you don't mind. In that case, I think your dream means that you're warming up to the role of fatherhood. Really? That one, does it sound like I'll do a good job? Sure, but I hope you don't plan on raising our child on a certain island. It's just a dream, Alicia. You take it too seriously. Sorry, Victor. I guess the force of pregnant mood swings is strong with me today. Don't I know it? So you're gonna have your first child, huh? Do you dream about anything? I dream I was on a luxury cruise to the Mediterranean. I was on a deck in a fold-out chair being served on bread drinks. You dreamed that before, haven't you? Yeah, it's a recurring dream. It'll, it'll haunt me until the day you buy us that luxury cruise. How does boat then? How was your first night? I slept quite well actually. Wow, you must have been dead tired then. 
Yeah, usually I can hardly sleep at all in unfamiliar places. This is for the breakfast. How long have you been up? Since about 9, I think. I was having a dream, but after a while it turned weird. That's when I woke up. Oh, what happened? Well, do you remember the caretaker that let us in last night? Yeah, I can remember his name though. Me neither. Norton, Morton, Horton, something like that. He was in my dream. Sounds like he made quite an impression on you. To be honest, he sort of creeped me out. I thought he seemed pretty nice. He was nice in real life. The dream version of him was kind of creepy. What did the caretaker do to your dream? Can we talk about this later, Victor? I'm still a bit disturbed by it. Uh, I'm sure you'll say this in dialogue. Well, that was weird. I don't want to talk about it while we're eating. It's a bit too graphic. Okay, never mind. Speaking of the caretaker, he still has our key, doesn't he? Yeah, he said he stopped, he'd stop by with that duplicate this morning, but he must have forgotten. I better call him then. Sounds like a plan. I'll go wash the dishes while you give him a call. You want me to help you with that? Stop pampering, dear. I'll be fine. Okay, you can deal with the box. Nothing. Oh, it's auto saving. I noticed that. I don't know the number, do I? Oh, what's this? Some mail. Okay. I say. Wednesday, April 4, 2009. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Sniff. Oh, that's Sniff, that's us. Thank you for choosing Prosser and Pankovich Realtor Service. We hope you enjoy your new home for many years to come. If you haven't questioned any services, blah blah blah. There's the number, okay. 555 Or just just call it. We are needing to memorize the number. Professor Akovich, how may I help you? Yeah, hi, my name's Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved in an apartment arranged by your company. Oh, hello, Mr. Neff. What can I do for you? I'm to reach the caretaker of this building. Do you want what happened to his number, would you? Yeah, what is address? What's this address? What's the address of the building? I'm sorry, I don't know. We just moved here yesterday. I can't recall the exact address. No, don't worry. I'll not come to you. You probably have it written down somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen, I've seen it someplace. Just call me back when you find it. Thanks, bye. The one? I still have the mail. Envelope, it's like the envelope. Mr. and Mrs. Nell, 12. Oh, okay, there it is. That's, that's cool. That's delightful. Processing recognition, may I help you? Yeah. I got a question for you. Got a number now. We'll have to have this number, would you? Yeah, oh, yeah. 12 Dupont Crest. That's the old building behind Esper Square, right? Esper Square. <laughs> I think so. We're new in town, so I don't know where everything is just yet. Let's see here. I cannot find the ink at that address. But you won't have to know his name, would you? Oh. Oh, no. Uh, okay, how do, how do I choose here? Um, let me see. Any mini, mini, mo, just a very mini, 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 Norton, is it? It might have been. I was really tired last night, though. No, I'm drawing a blank, blank with Norton. Do I have to think something else? Oh, Horton? Horton, eh? So, it could sure sounded like it, but I wasn't really concer con con concerning? Nope, it must be something else. There, there are no horns at that address. I'm really sorry, guys, if I'm reading this poorly. It's kind of because my in, in your perspective, it's a bit large, but in my perspective, it's a bit small. Trust me. It's a, it's, it's a bit zoom out. I could try use full screen, but I have to make sure that face rig is doing right right now. Like what happened last time. Could have been something else? Morton? Morton, you say? Are you sure that's what he said? I have Felix Morton here, but he's actually listed as your landlord, but not the caretaker. That's why I couldn't find him. Would you like to, uh, to like his number instead? Yeah, I suppose it must be the same guy. His number is... Yep. Right, got it. So that's the emails you need. 
Our main service is that your company provides. Our main service is that of a realtor, but we also extend a bit beyond that. We basically connect people looking for apartments with people who have apartments to rent or sell. But if you ever need help with things like renting furniture or negotiating leases, we also provide those types of services. Did that answer, did that answer your question? Thanks. I mean, that's good to know. Was that all? That's all. Thank you. No problem. Goodbye. Oh, weird. It, it pops up the same question again, but it's a bit lighted. Not more done here. Hello, this is Victor Neff from the second floor. The couple you let in yesterday. Oh, yes, hello, Mr. Neff. Are you. Sorry. Are you setting it all right? It's fine, thanks. But I was just wondering, when you be around to deliver the spare key you mentioned last night? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all but forget about that. Now nah, I figure you might have. I'll be right up. Thanks. Okay, I talk to him. What now? Should I wait or something? Or should I do something else? Have you managed to get a home that caretaker? Yeah, I just got the got up the pool with him. He'll be right up with the keys. Great, it'd be nice to have the keys to our own to our own place. Okay. Is there anything I miss here? I know games like this you have to do something. These two contains malicious eBay purchases. No. Oh. This contains some malicious student literature. What else? This contains some parental meeting material that I'll take in as soon as we're stable. Uh huh. This two contain part of my precious final collection. Oh, 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 what did I do to do that? Okay, oh, that's not only, only so nuts. Nice. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Here's the spare key. Okay, thanks. Do you find your apartment in order? I think so. It's fine, but I know more when we have a chance to live here a bit longer. Well, just tell me if you need any, any, any help fitting anything. Was that all? I'm a bit confused as to what call you. Are you a caretaker or a landlord? The reason I'm asking is because Frost and Alchemist didn't have you as an asset caretaker. I can see how that will be confusing. My family's owned the house for four generations. I rent out an apartment I don't need and try to take care of an estate as best uh, as best that I can. Making, making me both the caretaker of the house and your landlord. I see. Was there anything else? If I ever need you, you not just give that call, right? Either that or come face me in my office downstairs. Did you see it yesterday when you arrived? No, I guess I must be pretty tired. Just ring the doorbell. I both leave and work there so I can pretty much be down there at all times. You leave in your office? You open the office just the front door. My apartment is just further in. Oh! Well, that's convenient. You had me worried there for a second. Was there anything else? That's all for now. Then I'll head up downstairs. Just give me a call if you need me. Well done. He seems a nice guy. Oh, more doesn't mean a nice guy. I mean, I'm not sure what to quip out about it. I mean, he's okay compared to your eyes. Was that Mr. Mortimer heard in the hallway? He was just here to double the keys. You got creepy by him? Um, no, I mean, I could say the same thing to you right now. Can you say I did? He still seems quite nice to me. And that's all you did. Can I get out of the house? I haven't talked to him try that yet. Wait, 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 what's this? No. Use entry code. Hello? Anyone there? Ah, oh, broken one. Oh, I can get out of the house. Okay, I need to find something to open that door. No, open that board, sorry. Open that board. Man, this music's very loud. And charming at the same time. Oh, it feels so good. I haven't seen the terrified yet, except for Alicia. I think this box contains fire equipment. Here, open the closet door. The door is locked. Well, of course. What's this? A stairwell door? The stairwell seems to have sealed off. Judging by the warning time, I say it's probably hazardous. How come it's become hazardous on a, on a stairwell? Okay, no. I will be very polite. I don't know what that's upset on your name. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ring the doorbell. Just a moment, dear. I'll be right with you. Yes? Hello, Mom. My name's Victor Neff. 
I want to just move in across the hall in front of you. I just thought I'd stop by and introduce myself. Well, hello there, young fella. I'm Eddie Jones. I'm the resident senior in this house. You live here by yourself? Yes, I do. It's just me and my memories now. I used to have a husband around, but he went the way of the mortal man. Sorry about that. Sorry to hear that. But don't be, I don't care for him much at all. There was only one, there was only one, only room for one woman in his life. And she wasn't me, if you know what I mean. They say you need to be the nephew, like the actor. Like the actor, but he lived a bit before my time, though. But you two must be related, surely. No relation, I'm afraid. I've never seen him in his movies either, to be honest. Ah, you're missing out then. He had a knack for playing brutes. He used to be a boss. I remember he used to not to be I didn't know oh, crap. He used to be a bottle, see, before he took up the acting. Then I show you our similarities and end with our names. He seemed like a such pol polite young man. I like the caretaker here. Oh. Mr. Morton? Yeah, that's the one. Oh. I'm really sure Mr. Morton now. You don't like him? How could I? He tried to get me a bit as soon as his father died. Unfortunately, I got connections with the housing board in his town. What do you know about him? Much, about as much as I care to. I lived here long enough to see him grow up. He knew his father quite well. He was a caretaker prior to little Felix, a wonderful man. Unfortunately, the apple fell far from the tree in this case. Now, if you excuse me, I'm afraid I'm being rude to my guest. I gave a bridge between three, between three years. After all, none came a bridge at all. See you later then, Mrs. Jones. Just call me Eddie. Every, everybody does. Bye then, Eddie. Goodbye, dear. She seems okay as well. But I'm not sure for Mr. Morton now. Okay, elevator. Yeah. Oh. I thought that might happen. Oh, dear. I see some, some problem with the elevator. Don't tell me I need some wrench or something. I'm trying to disturb you again, but I'm happy to the elevator. The door jumps every once in a while. You'll be advised to keep some sort of grease product handy, like the baby oil, to use on the hinges, you see. I'll lend you some butter, but I'm all out, I'm afraid. That's okay, I'll probably be able to find something. Here we go again, okay. I hope we're not interrupting anything, not at all. I'm just having a few friends over at Fort Bridge, but they're about as fast as glaciers. They won't even notice I'm gone for a few minutes. They parted their fountains, but this old house can be a bit creepy. Well, what do you expect from a house with an Indian burial ground? Uh, I'm just joshing you, son. I found it's found on bedrock, sturdy as it can be. You could you could bury anyone here, someone here, unless they're got run over by steamroller. I'm sorry if I'm disturbing you, ma'am. I'll leave you in peace now. See you later, Eddie. Ah, that's nice. I'm not sure for Mr. Morton though. It's like if it's like two people said he's he's rude or something. That's why I'm starting to doubt him now. There you go. That's the purpose here. First floor, third floor. Let me, let me just see how to do this here. I mean the third floor is a rooftop. I don't know. Yep, one is two. And a map. Can I get the map? Nope, I can't map. I guess this is also close as well. Yep. Ring the doorbell. And nothing. Garden is one. Nothing as well. Well, that's a waste of my time. This also seems a basement floor. Wait, what do you need for the basement floor? I saw a basement floor. Access to the basement floor by a key. What's this then? I better not. Oh. I might upset the neighbors. What? Alarm button? Oh, yeah. It's wait. I'm hearing something. Oh, it come from here. Uh, what are you doing down there? Sounds like there's jazz. There's some mechanical things going on. Are you hiding something? Do have any key? Wait, that's a key. That's really big for a key. That must be the key to Mr. Morton's office. Go to Mr. Morton. Hello, Mr. Neff. Can you find your house? So your family owns this field. That's right, my great grandma built this house back in the mid-19th century. It's gone from generation to generation, generation to generation since then. 
I think I'm the last in the line, so is there anything else? What can you tell me about this estate? My great grandfather used most of it for his research. He was from the first to study and try to remedy sleeping disorders. I'm starting to think you're involved some way in the dream machine. The patients will live in the wards upstairs while undergoing treatments. By funny recommendation, he's setting up more and more of his apartment. In this end, in the end, this office in the back room has to hold that from me. What can you tell me about the inhabitants? They keep them to themselves mostly. It's pretty quiet house. It's a pretty quiet house. That's all I, the way I like it. Apart from you and me, there are three other inhabitants in this estate. On the top floor is Mr. Willard. She doesn't get out much due to his disability. His name needs Miss Teed. He works as a night nurse at the Abbey Hospital. Just three children days, so I rarely see her. Next to you have Miss Jones, a widow since a few years back. I'm afraid her age started to get the better of her. But on a good day, she's still quite lucid. Nothing else right now, I guess. So I have three neighbors, huh? I thought they'd just been there for props. What the heck? Are you Peter Neff? Yeah, that's me. We got your sofa here, sir. Ready and delivered. Re ready and delivered, sorry. So if you just sign away separate here, I'll leave it to your hands. Uh, but it's blocking the entrance. You should have thought about the size when you bought it, sir. Quite a common mistake, really. Well, I can see that, but really now? Also, that pillar seems a bit off. This pillar, to be exact. The one on the left. We delivered door to door like it says right here in the contract. Early speaking, this umbra has been delivered to a door. Sounds fair, I guess. Don't push it, don't push it. You might make a mistake there. I'm glad you see a reason, sir. I just sign here, sir. Just an extra service. I'd like to give you this complimentary crowbar. Oh, now that's what I need. I'm sure a big guy like you will be able to find that sofa free in no time. Here you go. Thanks, I'll show you proves to help somehow. Sign in the limit. Your secretary is a job well done, as you should. Okay, I got crowbar. It's a crowbar. Can you use a crowbar on this sofa? There's no way this could be off the field. This is not in the entrance. It seems to be a brownie stock. How can you get a sofa like this size? I mean, seriously, this, you could... Man, you just lucky your job. There's no way you could get stuck in the, especially in the main entrance. Not even a turnaround. Can I use my key for something? Apparently not. Well, that's one of the ways of a nail box. Okay. Now I can finally see what the key is and what's the present maybe. I was wondering, can you bring the herbal? Nothing. I couldn't expect she's to be to something. Okay, let's just find out what's this thing you're talking about. Okay, something's different here. That's where we're stopping half. Huh? It's not even metal. What the heck? Did they manage to get the board out before it broke? What kind of crowbar? What kind of crowbar that isn't metal? I mean, I'm pretty sure most crowbars are metal, like this. I mean, how would you pry things open? Really, met? It's not even metal. Um, have I ever seen a non-metal crowbar? If it, if I didn't see one, and I'll, I mean, I can imagine this: a plastic crowbar, something, something. You imagine that how painful that would be if you would snap in half. Ugh. Good thing I managed to get the board out before it broke, yeah. What's a sloppy crowbar? That's for the services. Oh. Uh, dummy machine, or this seems to be. This device seems to be where the current ends, so I have no idea what it does. Views, it's not about some kind of views. Oh, the music stands up. What are you hiding, game? Dummy meter, this device machine the current running through it. I don't like the music now. Can I? Oh, I can do it. Am I supposed to connect? Okay, connect there, there, there. I 
chance I did right. Okay. Uh, this, am I supposed to max out this? There seems to be twelve sisters. Yeah, it's only my sister. Fibra has a lot of my sisters on it. She seems to twist the current one into them. I should melt the part around them if I want to open up the circuit. Okay, so I have to avoid them. Okay, my sister there, my sister there, there, What's up here. Yeah, as well. Oh okay, dear, how can I avoid this one? I guess not. Okay, I have to get sure the current running. This. Oh dear. Okay. There we go. That's easy. That seems to open up the fuse. That's why I decided to blow before anything else could happen. Maybe I can bypass it somehow. Blow the fuse. The fuse is used now. I'll throw it away. Do I have something here? Can the key do it? I mean, it seems many keys do this. I will do. That seems to have been too much power for the machine to handle. It's completely burned out. What about it operating it? Oh. oh, oh no! Is someone watching us? What was that? I thought it's some, some heard some kind of noise. Noise. I don't know really. Can't you guys even see that as a camera? If I sat on the note and fell circuit board under the floor, after I tampered with the circle, the painting blew up. What's the band of painting then? It's a freaking camera for crying out loud. I'm not sure. Oh, for the novel. It says here, because I'm camera, you should be able to tell that. So what is it? Somebody put a camera behind the painting, pointing straight at the But This is more de definitive. A camera? You may summon it by speed on us while we slept? It certainly seems that way. Wait, where did you sleep? Oh, it might be here. I just didn't notice that. But who would do such a thing? I don't know. Well, it could be it could be the neighbors. It could be Mr. Morton. The previous tenant? Isn't he said a bit more elaborate for that? I mean what will he write and not listen to the camera? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay, let's just think here. I think it's going to be Mr. Morton. Judging the fact that he owns this building, he can do whatever the heck he wants. And plus he has access to this. I guess Mr. Morton? I'm just about to say that. He had access to the apartment, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I told you, I got a creepy vibe from that guy. And if it was Mr. Morton, that means he found that note left by the previous, previous town and tried to destroy it. That makes sense. If it is more Mr. Morton, this is some perverted plan he's trying to, to fulfill. I feel so violated, Victor. I think we should call the police immediately. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna go down there, make sure he doesn't destroy the evidence, sleep into the camera. I know he's probably noticed that we're discovered about his up to. I'll just go down and keep an eye on him until the police gets here. That sounds like, good, like a good idea. We have to make sure he doesn't get away with this. I'll call the police in the meantime. Oh dear. Oh dear. The serving's gonna point straight at the bed. I feel like smashing it, but the police won't like it when destroy it. Okay. Time in the hole. The circuit board has been overloaded. There's nothing more I can do. Oh dear. Well, I think that's it for now. I think this, this episode's a bit long right now. This is a really long episode. Oh god. I'm really curious now. I'm, I'm really interested. I really like this. I mean, it started out as calm. It started as calm, but after seeing this. Oh, this gets a creepy vibe indeed. Oh, wow, this could be terrifying. I can see why from many. I can see. I can tell from many people. And the music here really fits that even more. Oh God, I'm really, really, really curious now. I'm really interested on the story now. But I, I thought when they said about the dream machines, all about the dream machine. I didn't know there would be more to do it like this. I mean, wow. I think mean, that's all for today. I, I'm really stunned right now. I mean, sorry I have to edit somewhere, somewhere, I don't know. I mean, sorry I have to edit somewhere here. 
But anyway, let's just hope. I mean, let's just, I'm just hoping that we will get conclusion on the next episode right now. Not any, not any game conclusion. Like, what's with Mr. Morton? We look at this. I think that's all for today. Yeah, I keep repeating that with me. I keep repeating right now. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Well, the dream machine, more like a nightmare machine. <laughs>